The heartbroken sister of the teenage boy who hung himself has returned to the school where he took his life as the parents handed a letter demanding the resignation of the head teacher. His family claim he was the victim of bullying after being diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and was missing from class for an hour before he died. His father Byron John, 53, is demanding the school's head teacher resigns for not having a workable anti-bullying policy. And today Mr. John, his partner Kate Pickard, 29, and Danielle today handed over letters to St. John Lloyd Roman Catholic Comprehensive School in Lanelli, Wales. More than 50 parents at the gates cheered and clapped them during their protest. It was the first time Danielle has been back to the school after finding Bradley dead nine days ago. Wearing a girl-empowered green sweatshirt she bravely held back tears as she walked into the building where the tragedy happened. More than 50 parents carried out a peaceful demonstration at the school gates while the family walked hand-in-hand -hand to the main entrance. One letter demanded the resignation of head Ashley Howells and other teachers at the 500 pupil school over weak stance against bullies. Another letter demanded the school hand over school records into the bullying Bradley suffered a year before he tragically took his own life. Farmer Mr. John said, we are here today because Bradley was a vulnerable boy who didn't get the care and protection he deserved. He was missing for an hour and 10 minutes before before the alarm was raised. We feel he could have been found in that time. Then two teachers refused to break into the cubicle where he was found. Danielle was there while all that happened she saw her brother when they finally opened the door. Mr. John said Bradley and other children at the school are not getting protection from bullying. He said there is a systematic failure of any workable anti bullying policy. There was a failure in safeguarding the life, not only of my son, but of other children at the school. The bullying Bradley had suffered had been ongoing for at least 18 months, and this has virtually been swept under the carpet. We are asking for the head's resignation along with other teachers who let Bradley down. Mr. John, of Amonford, Carmarthenshire, said his daughter had also been let down since the tragedy. He said, the school has also put out misleading statements saying support is in place for Danielle. That is an untruth, they have not even picked up the phone to ask how she is. Mr. John, master of the Carmarthenshire hunt until fox hunting was banned in the UK, described Bradley as the center of our world. He is trying to support his daughter Danielle who is going through hell after finding Bradley dead. Mr. John said it was her 13th birthday on Wednesday, exactly a week after Bradley died. I tried to maintain some degree of normality for her birthday, but I failed miserably. It will always be her birthday a week after the anniversary of losing her big brother in such a terrible way.
Carmarthenshire Council said it was aware of the protest and the family's concerns that Bradley was being bullied. CLLR Glynog Davies, executive board member for Education and Children's Services, said, There is a formal investigation underway, and therefore it is inappropriate to speculate on the circumstances leading to this tragic incident.